Hey, what's up, YouTube? Casual Yugi Staff here, and welcome to another Yu Gi Oh! opening video. Today, it's a very exciting video, guys. We are going to be opening one of every first edition Yu Gi Oh! 5D's booster packs, guys. From the Duelist Genesis all the way down to Extreme Victory, we will be opening all of them. And the good thing is that they are all in first edition. It has taken me some time to accumulate all of these first edition sealed booster packs to be open on the channel. I've always wanted to do a video like this one, so I'm very excited for it and I hope you guys are too. If you're excited for it and you're enjoying the channel, please leave a like on this video. That would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and turn on the notification bells. And if you leave a comment down below, I'll be giving away some cards for the giveaway. So I'll be giving away this Majestic Mech uh, Goryu Elemental Hero Wild Wingman. These are all pack fresh, uh, which was sent to us by a viewer actually. Cloud and I of the Typhoon, a Evil Hero Malicious Edge, and a Gladiator Beast Torak, guys. So all that you've got to do to be entered in the chance to win these cards is leave a comment down below on the video. Alright guys, so that's the giveaway, and that's the intro. Let's talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. I'm a massive fan of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, everybody. It's probably my favourite monsters anime. Like, I really love all the dragons on the front cover. When is it that on the cover of every single pack, other than the last two, there's dragons on it? So 10 out of 12, there's dragons on these. And as I say, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds is increasingly collectible as well as, you know, fun and nostalgic. There are some crazy, crazy good cards in these. Not obviously to mention the ghost rares that you can get in every single pack, which is just incredible, especially when you're in first edition. Now, Cards like Stardust Dragon from the Duelist Genesis in first edition, Ghost Rare, PSA 10, even PSA 9 are like thousands and thousands of dollars worth of card. Same goes for Crossroads of Chaos, a very, very rare set with the Black Rose Dragon. Um, funny fact about Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds as well, if you didn't know um, people who are watching the video, there are four extremely rare first edition sets that you can only obtain first edition packs from tins so there's no first edition booster box blister pack or special edition of these four right here and that's the first two and the fifth and sixth so these are the magic four we call them the fantastic four of 5ds really um, although i have seen in my experience booster boxes european booster boxes of ancient prophecy and stardust overdrive uh, in english they are they do come in international languages as well these in, in first edition but these four guys can only be obtained through tins this ancient prophecy is a european pack uh, the rest are north american but still these are the fantastic four of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 d's so each pack of these is worth onwards and upwards of around 40 50 dollars especially the duelist genesis crossroads of chaos and Silas overdrive so guys i just thought i'd show those off beautifully on camera before we get into the opening I'll talk a bit about each set as we go through it. I think we have to start off... I'm thinking we go from back to front, just because Duelist Genesis is the rarest pack of them all. So I think if we start back to front, that'll probably be the best way to do it. So starting off with Extreme Victory, which I believe came out 2011, end of 2011. I think uh, 5D started in 28, 2008 and then ended in 2011. I stopped playing right about here in the era. Just before Stardust Overdrive, Ancient Prophecy was out. I remember my brother was using Morphtronics, and I was using like a Synchro Yusei deck, like a junk deck um, back then. So we'll start off with our first 5Ds, first edition pack. It's Extreme Victory, guys. Smash the like button. Bring us the Ghost Rare Luck, Ultimate Rare Luck, Secret Rare Luck. Anything that we get from this video, because it's first edition, is going to be crazy. So here goes. First pack, Extreme Victory. Let's see what we can get. First pack, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what we can get. So first of all, we have a Boon of the Mechlord Emperor, Esper Girl, TGX 300, and a Mechtimized Blast, and a Psychic Field, Field Zone? Yeah, Psychic Field Zone, so just a rare out of that one. Gladius Beast, Tigarius, ESP Amplifier, Mechlord Factory, and Morphtronic Lantron. So just a rare from our extreme victory. We'll put it, put the pack back. Rivley cards, I presume, on top of it. 
Um, that's unfortunate, but we did open a few of those recently on the channel. We opened 12 first edition packs, and even a booster box against Old School Expert, but did pretty pretty good in those videos, so make sure you watch those. Next up is Storm of Ragnarok, the Nordic Gods. Um, again, first edition, I had to crack a blister to get this out. So, still quite rare. Not very expensive, but you can get some awesome pulls in here. Really, really good pulls to get. Of which, obviously, you've got the Nordic Gods, you've got some nice secret rares as well. Let's see what's behind this storm of Ragnarok, guys. Let me just put those down one second. Put the pack back. And we shall take a little look at what we've got here. So we have a Zero Force. Nordic Relic Brishingamen. Okay. Oh my god, I think we just got an ultimate rare, guys. We got an ulti, and it's a monster car. What is the ultimate rare? It's a Karakuri! Muso MDL Bib Hyper? Yes! What a gorgeous, gorgeous ultimate rare. We just pulled an ulti, guys. I wish it was from one of the big four sets. However, it's still exciting nonetheless. That is a ultimate rare. Karakuri Muso MDL 818 Hyper. That is insane. Look at that shine, guys. Beautiful card. Wow. We'll get that sleeved up. So, Foolish Return, Blood Sucker, Legendary Six Samurai Muso, uh, Hourglass of Courage, and Top Runner. So we'll sleeve up our first foil. So that is a really good way to start with a nice ultimate rare. And I know you guys love it when I get ultimate rares. You call me the ultimate rare king because I have so much luck with these, with this rarity. And also the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds king. That's another reason why I'm opening all of the packs in first edition. Okay, so Star Strike Blast. Another amazing, amazing card set. I have got the Ghost Rare Shooting Star Dragon in PSA 10. Um, one of my favourite all-time cards, obviously for that reason. So, can we get Hollow? I want to give this pack a little pack with, as it's, I don't think I've ever opened one of these on the channel. I had a fake booster box, but... Wow, that smell is immense and insanely intense. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had one of these open on the channel before, I don't think. So, this is the first time for everything, guys. Rescue Warrior we're starting off with. That's a really cool card. 1600, 1700. Solid attack and defense. Attack Gainer. I think this is used by you, say. Golden Gearbox. And just a... Oh, that's a cool one. Karakuri Spider. That's such a classic card. It looks like it should be in Metal Raiders. Look at that. Karakuri Spider. Oh, and Formula Synchron. So that's actually a really good rare. This is the card used to make Stardust. Um, shooting Star, sorry. What Kiwi and Mirror of the Ice Power. That's a cool one to get. That was a cool pack. I haven't opened much Stardust. Sorry, Star Strike Blast at all. So that's always fun when you can open it. Okay, I think we're going to have to take out the cards and, um, from the video, guys. Just as we need to make some room. So let me just keep them in their respectable sets. We'll keep the empty packs there because they're still quite beautiful. Artwork wise, and we'll put our pulls just about there. Okay, so we move on to the Duelist Revolution. This is a 2010 release date. Uh, this is a European pack. Very nice, just for you who want to get the code. European. The way you can tell if it's a European pack, I should show you guys, is if you look at the back, <clears throat> obviously the EAN codes are different. Obviously, these are different packs, it's not a good example. But if you look at this lip here, it's so much thicker on the American side than the European side. That's a massive giveaway that you can tell. And also these lips tend to be a bit different. So Duelist Revolution, can we get an Effect Veiler Ultimate Rare? Or a Ghost Rare Draco Knight um, Dragon Knight Draco Equist, sorry. Okay, here it goes. Let's see what we can do out of this. Again, this is a set that I've hardly ever opened. I have not opened many of these at all in my time, so Fingers crossed we can get something epic. Righty ho. So we have a Pestilence. That's a really cool card. Pestilence. Bicorn Riem. Stronghold Guardian. Barrier Wave. And a rare Landois Luminous Moss. Ooh, Scrap Archfiend, uh, Synchro, super rare. So we have got a hollow, Scrap Archfiend, that's awesome. Nice. 
And a few more cards there to go with it, but we've got a Scrap Archfiend, and not too shabby, not too bad. We'll sleeve up our Scrap Archfiend. Nice pull. Very exciting. Sweet. So we've got a Synchro Hollow. Now, moving back into the Shining Darkness, Crow Hogan's Synchro Cyanar Dragon. We shall take a little look at this one now, as I move away these common cards. Excuse me. It's a bit of a mess, this video, guys. I do apologise. Let's uh, move on to the Leeching the Light. Second booster, Infinity Break, What Cube, and the Fountain in the Sky. We haven't had much luck with this set at all. It doesn't like us. Shining Darkness, again, great set, but really, really um, unfortunate there with the pools. We haven't had anything great out of it. We had a few secret rares in our time, but yeah. Anyway, the Majestic Red Dragon, Red Dragon Archfiend, my favourite synchro from 5D's era. That would be cool if we could get the Ghost Rare. That would be insane. Shredder. Destruct Potion with the Dark Ruler Hannes on there. Oil Man. Inverse Universe and Offerings to the Immortals. Nature's Reflection, Gravekeeper Steel and Widespread Duo. So, nothing out of that. Guys, we're down to the last half of the video with a Stardust Overdrive 1st Edition. These packs right now are about $40, $50 each. So that's an expensive opening, but I don't think anyone has ever opened all of the first edition 5Ds packs on YouTube before, so we're breaking history, guys, together. I want to get a little pack rip of this one for sure. Wow, that smells beautiful. Stardust Overdrive. I'd love to get a Guardian Iatos, an Ultimate Rare um, Earthbound Immortal. There's so many good cards to get from here. So can we do it together on the channel? That's the dream. That's the goal. <sighs> Synchro Barrier. Alright, Synchro Barrier. Gemini Booster. Insect Neglect. <sighs> okay, here we go. 414. Oh, it's a Shire Light Sworn Spirit. We got a hollow. That is insane. I only have one of those packs, guys, in my collection, and it was a hollow. It's a Shire Light Sworn Spirit. Sweet, I love my light swarms, and that's a cool one to get for sure. Oh, it has a bit of damage there on the side. Fortune Lady Water, Quacky Mary Sea Plant Panther, Reptilian Cycler, and Slip Summon. So that is not too bad at all. Super rare out of SOVR. Sweet. Fantastic. So three hollows so far out of seven packs. Which is great. Time for the ancient prophecy. My god, this set is the Again, I only had one of these first edition Euro packs. I opened a load of these in the past, like as if they were giving them away. I had like maybe 20, 30, and I um, I managed to to open quite a few back in the day. But this is a Euro pack, guys. These are so. I would have loved to get this pack graded, but got to do it. Got to do it for the video, guys. Got to open the beautiful uh, 5D's European pack. Okay. Ancient Prophecy, those cards are placed in Upside Down. What does that mean? Does it mean there's an Ancient Fairy Dragon in here? Who knows? Release Restraint Wave, Imperial Custom. Armed Sea Hunter. Morphtronic Magnum Bar, I'm not sure we've got anything, guys. It's a Falcon B and a Sunlight Unicorn, so nothing out of that pack, unfortunately. That was a shame because that was a big money, big voice pack. Ancient Prophecy packs are, again, $30, $40 each. Which is insane in first edition. Okay, let's move on to everybody's favourite, Raging Battle. We packed the Ghost Rare on the channel a while ago. From one of these loose packs. A European pack. So glossy and so... I really do like the Euro packs. Let's see if we can get an Ultimate Rare Power Tool Dragon this time. That would be insane. Okay. So we have a Vanguard of the Dragons. Blackwing, Sure of the Blue Flame, Black Whirlwind, Automatic Laser, and Moja. So nothing out of Raging Battle either. Still got three more packs to go. The big packs are coming. The Duelist Genesis, Crossroads of Chaos. But before then, it was a bit of Crisis. A bit of a Crimson Crisis. A bit of a Fire Hot Red Crisis with this. Again, North American pack, you can tell. Um... Let's see if we can get anything out of that. I'd love a, a Ghost Rare by Dragon Archfiend. I love it. It's such an amazing foil Ghost Rare card. 
Okie dokie. Here we go. We have a Morphtronic mix-up. B. List Soldier. That's weird. I don't remember that card. Morphtronic Force Field. Spell Reactor RE. And a Arcane Barrier. Oh! A Prime Material Falcon Secret Rare! I forgot that the Hollow is after the Rare. That's hilarious. What a sweet pull that is. Prime Material Falcon. I actually needed this card for my collection. Let's go, guys. We got a Secret Rare. Wow. Prime Material Falcon. We'll have to sleeve that up straight away. Descending Lost Star, Assault Machinery, and Ivy Shackles. Let's sleeve up our Prime Material Falcon. That is insane. Look at that shine, guys. Wow, what a pull. That makes up for the whole video, that does. Prime Material Falcon. Amazing. But the good news is we're still not done. We have two more packs, and these are the most exciting packs. Let me just check everything's okay camera-wise. We're recording and doing well. I just want to get this on camera because... I'm nervous as hell for our Crossroads of Chaos. Now, if you're a fan of Crossroads of Chaos and want to see more opened, check out this little information bubble up here where I opened for my 1,000 subscriber special. I opened 10 of these and got some amazing pulls, so do watch that video. But here goes nothing, guys. Crossroads of Chaos, first edition. Pack. Oh my god, that opens so easily. Should I be worried? That opens so, so easily, guys. I'm worried. Horsey Tail. Power Injector. Morphtronic Monitron. Psychic Jumper and a Mad Arch Fiend. Do we have a white car behind it? No, it's nothing. It's just a Mad Arch Fiend rare, guys. Unfortunately, out of that. But it's still a classic Jack Atlas card. Very, very cool. No hollow out of our crosses of chaos, which is unfortunate. But we've got a lot more of those. Eventually, down the line, we'll open some more. But as I say, for the time being, watch that 1,000 subscriber special. All right, guys, we're getting into the last pack of the video. If you're enjoying it, smash the like button. I need that support. Channel your energy into call out the Stardust Dragon Ghost Rare. I synchro summon the Stardust Dragon. All right, guys. Don't know how this will look on the green screen because it is a green pack. Probably really weird. But let's do it. There you go, guys. That just happened. We opened a first edition pack of the Duelist Genesis, guys. I'm not, not feeling confident, but come on. Fish Depth Charge. Psy Impulse. Destructotron. Dr. Cranium. Trap of Darkness. Oh my god, when I opened up a box and got the Ghost Rare. It was behind a trap of darkness when we packed Battle Jobber. Is it going to be behind here today? Oh! oh splendid Venus Secret Rare! That's equally as good as a Stardust Dragon. Oh my god! What? Splendid Venus out of a first edition Duelist Genesis. Oh my god, that is insane. I'm shaking, guys. What? That is amazing. Let me get this beaut- I love these fairy cards. I love these secret rare fairies. I, I'm a massive fan. Fiendish Engine Omega as well is a great secret rare. I would have loved that one, but Splendid Venus is just stunning. Look at it. Look at it, guys. What? Splendid Venus. Let me sleeve that up straight away. Keep them protected. Yes, there we go. What a way to end the video on a splendid, that's such a splendid pull, a splendid way to end the video. We did absolutely incredible. Out of 10, 12 packs, not 10, we got an ultimate rare from our Stormer Ragnarok, a splendid Venus and Prime Material Falcon secret rare, which is insane, a Shire Lightsworn Spirit and a Scrap Archfiend, guys. So five pulls, two supers, Two secrets and an ultimate rare. No ultras, guys. That was incredible. I hope you enjoyed it. Opening one of every Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds first edition booster pack back to front. That was insane. Completely worth it, in my opinion. We did so well on that. And um, this was casual Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff, guys. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Remember for the giveaway to win these cards that I showed you before. All you got to do is leave a comment down below. 
and I will catch you all in the next video, everyone. Remember to keep it casual in everything that you do do. I'll see you soon. Bye for now, and peace. Oh, my God.